Hey guys, welcome back to LitCode once again. So we have covered the JavaScript tutorial and TypeScript tutorial and few other tutorial as well, right? So most of the time I get the comment like, uh, so in most of the video, in more than 70% of my videos, I give the home task, right? So that once you learn the concept, you can go through the home task. That means the assignment and probably you can enhance your learning. So that is what I tried to start from the beginning of my uh, first video. So mostly people get confused like uh, I have done the home task, but I'm not sure whether the output is expected, uh, expected output is correct or not, whether the coding uh, is correct or not, right? So to solve that issue, I have created this repository called JS2025 self learn. Basically in this repository, you have a uh, few of the tasks. For example, if you are going to learn the variable concept, you can uh, practice the variable concept and we can run the test so that you will be able to understand whether the given uh, like whatever you have learned is correct or not. So similarly, we have primitive types, we have loops and conditions, we have strings, array, uh, classes, functions, callback, object manipulation, error handling. So all the concept I have tried to uh, implement in this particular uh, repository. So it's very, it's going to be very simple, uh, but the learning will be really enhanced, I believe. So uh, probably let me tell you how to use this repository. Okay, so once you go to this, I will leave the link in the description. You can check it from there. Once you go to this particular link and you have a code option, if you know GitHub, probably you can clone the repository and uh, you know how to do it. If you do not know about GitHub, not, in, not an issue. So you can go to this code option and you can click on this download zip. So it will download as a uh, zip file. And once that is done, you can go to the downloaded folder and then you can extract here. So I will click extract here. And once the folder is there, right click on your context click and uh, I mean context right click both are same. I'm sorry. Uh, you can open the folder in your uh, VS code editor. And here you can select we have SRC folder and within that we have task and within that we have the uh, within the src again we have the test folder and then git ignore is there uh, some prettier configuration i have done defaultly and then we have this package where script so if you want to format your code you can use the npm run format if you want to test the variables you can use this i will show the real example with this test uh, colon variables but before that of course you have to bring up your terminal since it's an npm project you have to install the dependencies so within the package.json you can see like we have a, a mocha and prettier so with the help of mocha i have written all the unit test cases so here i'm going to say npm then followed by i or npm install so now you got the uh, node modules folder and within that we have mocha and everything okay now what we can do is we can go to the src folder within that we can go to the task and within the task you can see like we have like 10 uh, tasks task to do okay let's go with the variables first so within the variables you can see like here it says very simple thing task one task two task three and task four tasks are there and you have 12 scenarios so first one it says like variable declaration and reassignment so declare a variable name age using lit and assign it the value 25 so we have to do that so let's do that so first of all you'll we'll say lit and then followed by age and we'll assign the value as 25 right and then we have the, on the next line reassign age to 26 so let's say age equal to 26 of course semicolon is not mandatory but yeah and then we have the declare a constant uh, name and assign it your name okay so here i'm going to say const name and then followed by my name okay and, and that's it then it says like on the next uh, yeah declare a variable name job using var and assign the value as developer okay so here i'm going to say like uh, var then followed by job equal to uh, developer okay so yeah now in this particular task what we have learned we have learned like let let is basically what we can reassign the value right so once age is 25 we can again reassign the age equal to 26 then we have const name equal to kaushik const means of course we know that we cannot reassign the value and then we have var var in the sense like it's a global scope it is similar to let but it's a global scope let and const is your block scoped okay 
then we have this variable scoping as the task two. So you have to select create a block scope using curly braces. We are going to create a block scopes and inside the block declare a lit variable block bar and assign it time block scope. And similarly, you can create a var and then you will understand the differences. Now, if we have this hoisting and also we have this constraint object, okay. So in the model.export, you can see like we whatever we have given like name, age, job. So we have all the three and of course the others are there. Now, you have learned this. Now, how, how will I make sure like it's going to be uh, perfect? Like whatever I have learned is correct or not. Okay. So if you go within the test, there is some test are there. So you can see like whatever there is in the variable dot js file within the task this file, we have uh, imported. So there we have exported here. We have imported and here you can see like we have some of the test are there. So you don't have to worry about the test now. Just go to your uh, terminal and here you can see like npm then followed by run then followed by test colon variables and where I'm getting this if you go to the package.json file you can see like here I have given the test variables right so that was I have called now if you go up here it says block var is not defined that means of course we have to complete all the uh, tasks like this task 2 task 3 task 4 so for now I will just skip the other test and I will show you this one okay I will just skip this I will comment this now for okay now let's go and run this so if you run this now um, again it says like block var is not defined okay we have to define actually so let me go and this one and if I go to my test of course you have to do all those I'm just uh, just for the demo I'm commenting all those now okay so once I run this you can see like we are getting three test pass so there are more than 10 tests are there so you have to make sure like all the tests are passed so here you can select should correctly declare and assign the age should correctly declare name and as a constant and declare the job using var okay now if you go to the test you can select state equal age should be like 26 and if you have name that's fine or else you have to say like new name you have to assign so there are a few tests are there now let's say that instead of uh, let i have done this as a const now, if I go and run this, so here you can see like assignment to constant variable is not possible. So you are getting error, right? So similarly, you can do some changes and you can learn. So once you have done all this, your all your tests should pass. So if the, all your tests are passed, that means of course you have whatever you have learned, whatever you have implemented is correct. Okay. So you won't get any confusions like whether this is correct or not. Now let's go to the primitive type. So here you can see like we have to declare a variable called x and then we have to assign the value to phi uh, and you have to declare variable y and assign the value to true. Now, so this type of small, small things are there, but of course definitely it will help you. If you go to the loop conditions, there are a few things you have to uh, like this base, all the tasks are there, okay? So based on that, you will learn and you will make sure like your learning is correct, okay? So with this, I hope you will able to learn JavaScript more in detail. So I spent time to analyze this and uh, have done this. So if you like this kind of learning, go to the GitHub and give a star here that will encourage me to add more tests. And if you are aware of any other test or if you want, if you think like some of the topics I have missed, probably you can add this. Just send me a PR. I will be happy to look into this. And all the instructions are given here clearly. Just go and uh read this documentation definitely you will find it helpful so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care